Hey guys, it's Sam. Today I'm going to be doing a plan with me in my Hobonichi Mega Weeks. It's been quite the hot minute since I have done one of these and I decided to just go ahead and film and do the voiceover later because it just stresses me out trying to like think of things to say and plan at the same time and I usually end up forgetting half the stuff that I wanted to write down in the first place so I thought that this would help me focus better. As you can see, I did have a couple of things already lined up and I wanted to do that to kind of help keep the video length down. I decided to go ahead and use these date strips and I believe that those are from Planner Monkey Co. on the side because I am getting the English weeks for 2023 and I still have a few of these date strips left and I decided to just go ahead and run with it. These have been especially helpful for me on those weeks that I have just completely, completely hated what I was doing in my weeks and end up pasting in another week, which might not have been the same week from another Hobonichi weeks that I bought that I've just kind of been using uh, to piece things together when things like that happen. So I didn't need to date this week, but I just decided maybe the time for using them is coming to an end with using the English weeks and I should go ahead and get them used. I had gone through and just filled out one appointment in with pencil before I got to that week that I didn't want to forget since it's not a usual thing. Also, I have used these little tiny super itty bitty thin like washi strips there instead of like a marker or a pencil to make that little line on the left side of the page and those are from Clark and Cord. Recently discovered her shop and I've made a couple of purchases now. I really love them. You just have to be really careful if you order these. They're super thin so you have to go really slowly in peeling that strip up or it could break. Don't ask me how I know. On the other side, instead of doing weather or anything else that I have used the other um, little thin edge of the weeks on the right hand side for, I've just decided to kind of take up some of that space and use some washi tape. My washi tape is from Paper Minty Studio. That's my very favorite shop to get washi tape from. And between that washi tape and some that I get from Amazon, like in a big pack of the grid, those are really the only ones that I've been using lately. Just they're really my colors and my style and I really like seeing them in my pages. I somehow did not see my blotting paper in there and it took me a bit to find that, but I had already smeared a bit of the pen to the paper when I was erasing so I wanted to make sure to get it out so that I didn't smear anymore. This week I am using the Sarasa Vintage and I believe this one is the brown gray or gray brown. It's I think it's brown gray. Um, I decided to switch it up for my usual camel. I'm not sure how I feel about it but I need to order some more because the one that I was using was running out and I keep one with my A6 where I use it as like a memory keeper slash diary, whatever. I just shared that one actually uh, yesterday on my channel if you're interested in the flip through of that. So I did things just a little bit differently and that's one of the things that I really love about the Hobonichi Weeks that you have this right side that's completely open for whatever you want to do. It doesn't lock you into anything and so you can kind of change your mind. Sometimes things work for me really well for like months, a whole quarter, six months, sometimes even a year, but I like that you can switch it up. So this week I am doing my general, like just random list of things that I'd like to get accomplished for the week. Some of those have been carried over for several weeks. If you're a regular viewer here, you know that the city taxes historically <laughs> Oh goodness, I don't know how we just don't get this done. We did go like a month ago to City Hall to go get our city taxes done and they were not accepting um, in person that day. So all of that work to get down there with all of our paperwork 
and then we couldn't see them. So who knows, we might not ever go. I told them we were gonna go to jail and they were like, sometimes we have people come in here and they are like six years behind. So we're only two years behind. So it's not the worst, I guess. I went ahead and went in and made two more sections for the week. I have really been failing at tracking with not using a tracker that I can see in my weekly view. I'd been trying to use the tracker that I made for myself in like the quarterly pages of the A6 and I've just been failing. I really need to be able to see this when I open up my planner so that I can check things off throughout the day. So I'm going back to my weekly tracker and historically I have either been very hot or very cold about that. I either love a tracker or I hate a tracker. So this week I'm adding my tracker back in. And then I also decided with my job switch that I'm doing um, this week, I'm gonna be doing more of the meals. So I did take the time at the end of last week to make a menu plan, to make a grocery list, and to do the shopping. I've also done some of the meal prep so that I don't have to start from scratch every day when I come home from work and some of the stuff's already done for me so that it doesn't take too much time after a day of work. So I'm gonna go ahead and hopefully keep up with that pattern because I think that it will be good for me and good for my family to have some of that preparation done. I'm just gonna be doing my meal plan in a regular like composition notebook. I like that I won't have to worry about like my covers or losing my planner or anything like that. So I have all of my meals listed at the top of that notebook and then I have everything that I needed to shop for broken down by like different categories in the page. And then as I went through the grocery store, I marked that everything out as I picked it up so that I would be more visually sure that I had gotten everything that was on my list. There was a couple of things that I couldn't get that I needed to get at another store and I ended up circling those. And those were just to help me like stay focused on my job because the job was to get things for the food and I get distracted by shiny things really easily. So that was super helpful for me. So that's my plan with me for this week. I hope that you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up. And if you're new around here and don't want to miss out on future videos, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much as always for watching. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Have a good day guys. Bye.